Lesson 6 How Rockets Work Space rockets work on the principle of Newton's third law of motion, which states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Rockets use this principle to generate thrust and propel themselves into space. Here's an explanation of how space rockets work. 1. Propellant Rockets carry a combination of fuel and oxidizer known as propellant. The most common propellant uses a mixture of liquid oxygen oxidizer, and liquid hydrogen, which is the fuel. When these two components are combined and ignited, they undergo a chemical reaction that produces a large amount of hot gas. 2. Combustion The propellant is injected into a combustion chamber where it's ignited. The combustion process releases a tremendous amount of energy in the form of hot gas and exhaust. 3. Nozzle The combustion gases are expelled through a nozzle at the rear of the rocket. The nozzle is designed to accelerate the gases and direct them in a specific direction. As the gases are expelled, they create a high-speed jet of exhaust gases moving in one direction, which generates thrust in the opposite direction according to Newton's third law. 4. Thrust the expulsion of the exhaust gases at high speed creates a force called thrust. This thrust propels the rocket forward, overcoming the force of gravity and allowing it to ascend into space. 5. Staging Most space rockets are multi-stage vehicles. They consist of two or more stages stacked on top of each other. Each stage has its own engines and propellant. The first stage is ignited at liftoff and provides the initial thrust to lift the rocket off the ground. Once its propellant is depleted, the first stage is jettisoned and the next stage is ignited. This process continues until the final stage is ignited, carries the payload, such as the satellite or spacecraft, into orbit or beyond. 6. Control Rockets are equipped with the control systems to steer and stabilise their flight. This includes gimbaled engines that can swivel to change the directions of thrust, as well as small thrusters or reaction control systems RCS, that provide fine adjustments in the rocket's orientation in space. 7. Payload Deployment once the desired altitude or orbit is reached, the rocket's payload is deployed. This can be a satellite or spacecraft or other scientific instruments. It's important to note that the specifics of the rocket designs and operation can vary depending on the type of rocket and its intended mission. Different rockets use different propellants, engine designs and staging configurations. However, the basic principles of generating thrust through the expulsion of high-speed exhaust gases remain the same.